Hi there, and welcome back to Measure Killer on YouTube. It's Klaus again here with a special guest, and today I'm about to show you how to find and remove unused measures and columns from a shared semantic model. That is a model with many thin or live reports connected to it. Let's get to it then. Imagine the following scenario, where you have a semantic model, in this case the weather data set, and some reports connected to it. You want to find out which measures and columns from the weather data set are used within the model itself, but also across all of the fin or live reports. That's exactly what mode two of Measure Killer is designed to do. I'm using the free version of Measure Killer, and this mode requires you to have all the files, the dataset file, and also all of the fin or live reports. What I need to do now is download every single file. Once you've downloaded all of the files, open the file containing the model in Power BI Desktop. You don't need to open the other files, just the one containing the model. In our case, is the weather data set. After you open your model's file in Power BI Desktop, you can then run Measure Killer. With Measure Killer open, select the second mode. A new window will appear. Here you can select the model. If nothing appears here, go to the manual input. Since everything is correct, click Next. Here, a new message box will appear asking if you would like to add the dataset pages. Uh, the dataset pages are actually the report of the model, and this report is completely blank, no visuals, no nothing. So I will just skip this. You can always uh, add it later. Now it's time to add the reports. So I'm going to go back to the folder. And here I'm going to drag and drop them, ignoring the empty report. This is just the model. Now that all of the reports are there, you can just click Run. Once Measure Killer is done, you can check out the results. They are very similar to the first mode. For example, you have the execution summary here on the left side with some useful information about your model and also the results table. The results table will list all of your columns and measures. If the measure or column is red, it means that it's unused. If it's yellow, however, it means that this column or measure is only used by unused artifacts. For example, the wind chill column is only used in a report level measure. And this report level measure is unused. So what that basically means is that you can remove the wind chill column. Report level measures are the main difference between mode one and mode two. Report level measures are measures created in the fin files, so they are not a part of the model. And Measure Killer will also analyze them. You can also find some useful information in the tables tab. Here, you're going to have another version of the results tab but you can also check where tables are used. For example, the calendar table is referenced in some calculation items in the model. You can also check the columns of that table and if they are used or not. So this is basically just a different view of the results table. On the report results tab, I have an overview of all the pages, report level measures, basically all elements within the report that I selected. For example, the Austria forecast contains six report level measures, one report level filter, and I can also drill down to the pages, drill down to the visual levels and check a particular visual for basically which columns or measures they are using. In the DAX expressions tab, you'll be able to search through all of your DAX expressions. For example, I can type in average 
and you'll be able to see all of the measures calculated columns or tables or even field parameters that are used in the average keyword somewhere, the average DAX function. The M expressions tab is very similar to the DAX expressions tab, but here you can search through the M queries. For example, if I type in data flows, I'll be able to see the queries using a data flow. You can also plot your results and kill the DAX artifacts. Here you'll be able to automatically remove the measures or calculated columns from your model. You can either use the kill or you can copy a C-sharp script. Now I have a couple of them selected and I can copy the C-sharp script and I'll be able to run this in tabular editor, for example. To remove your unused columns, go to the Q columns tab. Here, Measure Killer will generate a new M expression for you, and then you can copy this and paste into Power Query using the Advanced Editor. You can select the table here in the dropdown, and they will be sorted by the potential savings. What Measure Killer does exactly is add an extra step to the end of the query removing the unnecessary columns. Or if you have remove other columns selected, it will reference directly only the used columns. If you are not sure how to do this, please check out our previous video on the single report mode. Another very useful feature of Measure Killer is the export. You can export the detailed results in Excel format or JSON format. But you can also use the export for some of the tables. But be careful, this export here will keep the state of the table. So if you have a filter applied like I here, Measure Killer will only export those items based on the filter that you have applied. So that's it. That's how to analyze a shared semantic model offline using the free version of Measure Killer. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to do the YouTube thing, like, subscribe, turn on the notifications. And again, thank you very much.